This is Duke University. It's our pleasure to welcome you to the finals of the Duke Ebola Innovation Challenge. Between homework and exams, more than 160 Duke students volunteered their spare time to address the Ebola epidemic. They did so by examining ways to improve care for those infected and to stop the spread of the disease. I think it's something that everybody should be involved with, trying to come up with new innovative solutions to solve challenges such as this one. As part of Duke's challenge, small teams of students were given less than a week to come up with an idea that strengthens the capabilities of healthcare workers and improves the ability to track and communicate. But we're actually losing patients uh, due to dehydration. A panel of judges weighed in on students' ideas, such as a patient Ebola kit that would provide basic supplies. How did you decide what should be in that kit? Other ideas included a cell phone app that would monitor the personal protective equipment of healthcare workers. So we could track that and make sure that uh, health workers were receiving the proper information, were using the correct equipment so that we could monitor which um, areas needed more um, service and attention. Another concept, re-enlisting Ebola survivors to become healthcare workers. And give them an opportunity to elevate their status in society, give them new money opportunities, and they have a lower chance of getting infected. Some of the top ideas from Duke will get submitted to U.S. AIDS National Call to Action, where they could possibly get funded. Having those different backgrounds come together was really interesting because each of us had a different perspective and um, a unique voice to bring to the project so coming up with our ideas was really neat to kind of hear from everyone. Reporting for Duke University, I'm Julie Schoonmaker. Produced by Duke University.